What's up guys? This is the Brofoman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this, and in this episode, uh, we are continuing our war against Great Britain. Uh, our conquest of North Africa is going great and we are still pushing further east. And we also have multiple landings um, in the Caribbean, which I suspect will kick off in the next turn. Uh, we don't have any Spanish things to worry about yet because we are allies with them. But we do have a number of British territories that have been invaded. Then we'll take Curacao. Uh, we have also landed up near Agvictuk. And then we do have this navy here, which I might actually take this navy out. Or take this army out, rather. Oh, come on. Jitter. I might deploy the, the army so they can push in kick this navy out and then we can engage it and free up both of my battle fleets ah, oh, not got sped up I haven't sped up the time yet alright, cool yeah, we'll have to do that next turn and this sloop can move back oh, you don't need to go to Louisbourg well, actually, you can just wait here because we will eventually be taking over um, Agvictuk and then we'll go then we will garrison the port here apart from that Everything else is going great. We have your Yankton under siege. Soon we will have to break with the French, but I think we will do that after we have secured... Take the Barbary States, take Sardinia, build these areas up, and be ready for a future conflict um, in the Eastern Mediterranean. We can start to pick off any, any Austrian ships that come our way and blockade their trade. But for the most part, we're doing fine. May even end up... Well, I mean, when we declare... Oh, no, Turin and Milan are French. Hmm. We're at peace with Venice. We could potentially land against Austria and really stir up the hornet's nest. Um, but for the time being, let's we'll check our research. Nothing... Steam engines in eight turns. That's fine. Let's hit end turn. We're probably going to have a whole bunch of uh, fights on our hands. Oh no, you can't go there. We're going to have a whole bunch of fights on our hands soon. You want New Mexico. I mean, they're offering th they're offering 13 grand. It is not a terrible... Lots of these deals that the, uh, the AI have been giving us aren't terrible because the Mexicans have not been overly um, dangerous for us. You know, they've not been, they haven't been, they don't seem to show off any violent intent. So you could actually take them, you could actually re trust them reasonably well. There we go, we're being attacked by the garrison here in Antigua. Let's destroy them. So Antigua will provide us even more resources for the international market. Um, I think if anything, I'd rather like to dismantle the British Empire and leave the British Isles itself till last. And that includes invading India and taking their territories there because I do not want them to fall into rebel hands once the British are destroyed in Europe because that might leave them open for the Mughals to storm in. Or the Marathas, more likely, to storm in and take them. If we can take Calcutta and build up some armies, obviously we've got some ugly, ugly rain. How it says, get back and ready to get ready to drop some shots. And nice, see, this is part of the fun thing about playing in the Americas, is that you get these lovely flat maps that are just glorious. So let's set up our army. Put my Republican Guard on the right. There we go. They can have a unit of scouts. Ah, oh, the Legion and another unit of foot that I forgot about can go on the right. On the left, rather. Split up the cavalry. Get ready to push, but just pick quick climb and just start to uh, knock out some of these 
enemy units. Advance, and most of my line can advance at speed. Get my scouts into cover. Okay, looks like the left is going to be the advantageous flank for us because they are in a, they are going to start rolling up. Actually, might make my foot artillery just keep attacking the right flank. Keep landing in shots amongst these fellows. Do you have some grenadiers? A few less now. Okay, there we go. Our line has made contact. Colonial militia. Good. We're going to start to roll up our, our our left flank because that's the weak one. Although we've got this cavalry back here will stop us from losing too many men. Are you guys engaging from the wall? Allegedly. Excellent quick climb here. Holy moly. Let's start to uh, drop off so, drop some new targets down. Are you all bugged and not firing? All my scouts back, lest they get mobbed by the. Lest they get mobbed by the uh, buccaneers. Regiment of horse and my cavalry push in. Excellent hits. Deploy my cavalry against the colonial light, including my general. Okay, this was successful. I wanted just to try and herd in the flanks. It looked like they were going to spill out this way, but now they've decided to fall back in, send in the cuirassier. Lots of dead men, and the audio is very funky. Excellent. Okay, get my scouts up. I mean, this looks glorious with all the smoke sticking around. Although that is Darth Maul, I believe. Okay, hold the line. Get my troops to advance. Get my quick climbing how it's just, I mean, yeah, this is sometimes, this appears to be a problem with Empire. These days that you do just get, rain just does make things fall over. There you go, massive rout. Cease fire my artillery to prevent some fratricide. Okay, so it's only the units on this flank that are remaining, so let's... Actually, how it says, yeah, the howitzers can, they can open fire on these targets. My scouts are engaging, finally. Well, let's make sure, sometimes, sometimes these do get deselected for some reason. Engage General's Bodyguard. Colonial Militia. This could well be the first Colonial Militia unit that's now recovering. Pack the Militia to pieces. Just want to stop them from coming back. My General and my Dragoons are hacking down their General. I suspect they will not survive. In my howitzers switched around shot. Oh, they are out of range. Okay, 
We've killed their general, sir. Okay, excellent. So then, Republican Guard, Scouts. Round shot still hammering shots in against the militia, but until we kill their. We route their general unit, we can't push up our. There we go, cool, perfect. You men withdraw. Republican Guard and Scouts advance, take their position. Keep engaging. These are the Grenadiers that have come back. Brave Grenadiers. Drummer boy up front, giving us a tune. In the murky distance, you can see their death coming for them. Well, they're reloading as artillery comes in. I want Republican Guard. Form up. Reload. Now they've got their first shots off, but we're ready to go. Oh, they've immediately started to waver. There we go. They didn't want to put up with that for too long. Colonial militia have returned. And not within range of the howitzers. Bring my Cursier over. Put artillery engage, because these guys are going to break soon. Oh yeah, they're manoeuvring, and they're down. Okay, slam into them. Ceasefire artillery, bring in the Cursier. You wouldn't be standing quite so lackadaisically now, Sonny. See, through the musket smoke, looms the Cursier. Yeah, and they're broken immediately. Fools. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So that, well, that's another garrison damaged. They're not destroyed yet. Uh, I'm going to fight this one manually to prevent them from doing way too much damage. I'm against one militia unit, and that one militia unit will gut my entire army somehow. Let's just drop my artillery on them and see what happens. One sec, guys. Okie dokie. I mean, for the most part, my... Army... Okay, right, you guys fall back. Bring my cavalry back. Just let my artillery. There we go. Quick lime, especially when that comes in. See if Quick Lime will <laughs> wipe some out. Not nearly. Position my cavalry already. Start dropping in shots. <laughs> uh, 
and to punish them, we will wipe these <laughs> wipe these militia off the face of the earth. Wipe them out. You will not go home. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily call that a heroic victory. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, you want some... To see for some... Oh, because they must have been slightly a bit further here to not bring them in. But that's more like it. That's more like it entirely. But this is to be expected. We are... We are uh, in a position to just wait, destroy their garrison, take the city, chase them down and slaughter them. They do have troops running to... Did have a couple of units running towards Quebec, so that's worth keeping note of. Oh, and... Oh, that's beautiful. For a minute, I thought, because the position changed, I thought we'd be over here. Nope. We're out on the clear ground. Excellent. Let's form up. Let's put a couple of guns in the line. Good, good, good. Okay, put a grenadier, put a Republican Guard unit out on that flank, put a grenadier unit up on this flank, put my long rifles up here with my provincial scouts. Everybody's pretty sure everybody except the cavalry is committed cool okay let's get cracking and their reinforcements are coming in directly behind them that's really nice although it shows I suppose fire my howitzers in round shot try and get kills and get some experience we're gonna drop some shots on and just pound them with artillery right now there's not a lot we need to worry about they will be slaughtered as they advance towards us. That's right, bring in your friends. You think they will help you? They will not. You have dragged them out of their beds, their comfy garrison. To fight a battle that is unwinnable. Firewall on, sorry. Oh yeah, because you were firewall off while there were troops in front of you. Go for the fireball auxiliary. Oh, took one off by the headshot. But yeah, when you fire howitzers in quickline shell mode, you don't get any experience points for the kills resulting from the cloud. So that's why I'm dropping Dropping round shot on people, just to try and see if I can get some actual kills. See, the rifleman, the long rifleman will be the first to engage from oops, on top of the hill. Oh, there they go. Making ready. They did not like how the rifleman appeared from the bushes. This 24 pounder Boom. Fire canister. Yeah, the tribal auxiliary have had enough. They're going to keep being harassed by this artillery piece, though. My provincial scouts are just out of range. Let's scoot them forward a bit. So 
switch to round shot and keep attacking. Actually, use my howitzers to chase them, to keep engaging. These 24 pounders start blinking at the troops in the, that are still yet to enter the map. Nice area target for howitzer fire there. Oh, here comes their general. Kill some of my scouts here. Yep. Yeah. But they charge their general up to my line for some reason. There we go, they've returned. Keep killing the general's bodyguard. Push forward to break their force. The reinforcements have not yet entered the field. Deploy. Excellent, they've been chased off again. How it says engage the reinforcements coming in. You chaps fire it well off. Same with the riflemen. Recover the cavalry back to the hill. Hello, no we're not. There's some native bowman auxiliary creeping up. Two units. One of you. Three units. Excellent. Pursue and destroy. Oh, they're shattered. Yeah, all right. Both go after the native bowman auxiliary here. They're going down. Guys, recover. See, this is a more traditional empire total war battle. There you go, good shots coming in. The militia do not want to uh, keep going. Still no experience for our artillery yet. Sorry. Okay, you're going to engage the musket auxiliary when your time comes, because they are—they will probably slightly outrange my infantry, and you're actually in a really bad spot. Okay, so you guys. Round shot of the militia, because this cavalry is going to smack into those musketmen as they crest the hill and see them. Okay, the right flank can now start to fold in. My riflemen scouts are still okay. My long riflemen are still okay up here. They can be able to pick off the 31st. Right away. 
long range. Enough to make them potentially run. Excellent. Bring back the cavalry. Round shot smack into the militia. So my artillery is gaining experience. Uh, it's this one that's blasting them with canister shot. I'll make sure you guys are all back on fire at will. Same with you chaps. There you go, pour shots into the 44th Regiment of Militia. They're trying to work the ground, but it's not... <laughs> They're in a really good spot. Yeah. These militia are being chased back. By your volley, then run. You fulfilled your obligation to king, to the king, and to your country. Round shot, bombard 34th. Cool. Everybody's down. Kill, kill, kill. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so that's that garrison dealt with. Scattered into the wilderness. <laughs> and again, there's no letter. But this time we have rockets. Also, it would appear, very frustratingly, I don't know why I can't recruit those elite, u those um, unique units for the US in this campaign. Um, I think the additional units mod must have had something to do with it. I don't know why. I just it, something something has changed from the last time I played this campaign. I can recruit those units in the single player battle, so they are in the game. The units do work, but they are not available um, on the campaign map, as far as I can tell. So frustrating, but the way it is. Okay, so move you guys over here. No, not the Legion. Get up here, form up. You guys form up over the flank. Keep some infantry. Infantry on the left with some grenadiers. Then you deployed Republican Guard, Long Riflemen, and the Legion. Then my reserve. Deploy my cavalry, deploy my rockets. I do like rockets, they're good fun. How it says are gonna fire round shot. Aha. The enemy are coming in from the right. Something like that. My howitzers might I wanted to originally not fire quick climb, but they may instead fire quick climb to try and clear up the left flank, so I can rotate. I can rotate around and face off against the reinforcements as they come in. I don't think the rockets are fired yet. Fire on my order. Following orders. 
rockets. I, I fear these rockets can sometimes be a. Uh, yeah, look, I give them an attack order, they just slowly shuffle forward. And I don't want them to do that. I want to just pick your own targets and shoot. That's fine. I just want you to do it. Oh no! You guys, 34 pounder unit. these guns to canister shot. Try and target quick climb to be slightly less friendly fiery. Fire at will. I need to get up here and try and boost my regiment of force against the West India Company infantry. The massed bayonet charge. And red is Avam. These malicious warming in. Okay, push in. They want to get into a good old scrap, do they? Cavalry's going to charge in and have a field day. So then you men get engaged. Let's go. Bear in mind, they can come back. Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Guns limbered up so I can maneuver them about. You men blast that buccaneer. They're firing with their pistols. Get my general up here because the colonial light cavalry is getting upset. Bring in the Republican Guard. A legion in the line just to kind of hold. Cavalry, get up on top of the hill. Artillery engage. Those buccaneers then are moving up. These men clear out that colonial militia unit. And my line infantry's involved, their buccaneers, they are very upset. Devastating quick climb hit there. Switch to round shot, attack that general's bodyguard unit. And you're going to run into the back of this British infantry blob here. Advance forward. Infantry get over here. Start to mop up. Ooh, a lot of artillery hits. Okay, howitzers start to engage here. This artillery just sees fire. Bring my 
general back. Oh, you're going to be no good. You're going to have to charge in. Support the general. Legion and long riflemen. They're only buccaneers. Charge! You may charge at the back of that buccaneer unit. Nice. General's bodyguard's broken. My light cab is broken. Excellent. Okay, let's form up a new line. Get all my artillery up on top of the hill. My howitzers can start shoot, can keep shooting from there. I mean, these rockets have just. You're okay, right. Okay, I had them turned at fire. Well, off most of the time. That makes sense. Oh, no, okay. You are engaging the, the units coming in. Excellent. How it says keep engaging. My toe is going to be a teensy bit exposed, but not overly so. Bring back the cavalry. Probably get a bit of rest. Still good hits. It's my cavalry routing. There we go, you men. Oh. Interesting. Let's make sure my general's over here to try to provide some cover. There we go. Put some damage in against these buccaneers. Back you devils! Excellent. You may have far at will. Ah! Five baskets, one section. Yeah, that did them in. Keep slamming home shots. We've still got plenty of reinforcements to deal with, although it looks like this might be the tail end of that. Artillery still being dragged up their firing positions. Good hits of the rocket artillery. Excellent, I'll pour fire onto them. Oh, they're out of here. Shattered, broken. Plenty of African musketeers. Good hits. Units had enough. Make sure our mortars are engaging the units that aren't yet in that aren't yet in the fight. See if we can break them. Oh, no, there's actually quite a lot that aren't in the fight yet. This is going to proceed for a certain amount of time. It's 
then all my guns are up here. Unlimber. Fire round shot at will. Now you're in trouble. Excellent. Here come the 58. <laughs> sort of frantically get the... He's playing that without even using his trumpet. Just... <laughs> that sounds coming out of his backside. Oh, another mass charge coming in. If we try that again, we will we will know. of rail tank. Break off attack! So much firepower. With full artillery pounding them as they withdraw. Give my howitzers to engage these fellows. What are my rockets going to be up to? We're not reloading. Oh, many dead horses and troops. This unit, the 33rd Regiment, keep engaging the 64th. Long Rifleman still opening fire. Yeah, they're advancing again. Shattered. Excellent. Yeah, it would appear lots of these units that are routed into the city. It was just a... the numbers weren't... didn't go their way. It's rockets. Yeah, rockets. Hitting the 71st. We're going to come in again. We just can't have enough ammunition to kill all of you. Just keep firing round shot. We could put a quick douse of quick line would do wonders here, but let's just keep using round shot. Maximize our rate of fire. It looks like it is just these three units left. That's what you get, Britain. These co these I was about to say these colonies. These are not colonies. We are liberating them for us. But these territories will belong to us. That's the Bahamas crew just knackered. The Barbary State. I mean, yeah, Spain's going after the Barbary States. I mean, they won't go. Will we? if they take the Barbary States, it's not the end of the world. In which case, I'd probably rather let them take it and then, then focus my efforts elsewhere or build a, a frontier garrison ready to uh, protect the border. But other than that, that is absolutely fine. We will. This army can then get redeployed towards Sardinia. Oh, then here come the native peoples out of Yankton. God, I love you. you haven't even hit and turn. Battle fatigue is setting in. Oh, boy. 
<laughs> What's that? Four now? Yeah, I think it's four. Four battles. Four battles in the space of 45 minutes. However, we will be a little less reactive in this one. Form our line. Advance. Find them. Destroy them. Jobs are good in. Include my general in that task as well. So I want to get up to here at least. You're the tree line. There we go. We've got a bunch of them exposed. Still, that doesn't mean that's where they're all they all are. Get my bowman behind the center. Our line's in position. We're gonna give them a good going over with with volley fire. There we go. Forgot about you chaps. Get you guys over here for sure. Fire it will off. Curacy Air is here. Okay, they're focusing their fire. Well, they're focusing their effort. So let's make sure we oblige them. Guards in the mix. Charge the cavalry in. It isn't my long term intention to keep them fighting there, but I think I had to kind of pin them in. Fine. It was somewhat expected. Good old fashioned Rome total war now. Curiosity, yeah, need to get over here rapido. Smack into the bowman. At least behind the lines, you men form square because that's where the chief's bodyguard is. Kill the chief's bodyguard, that's perfect. You men charge into the back of that fight there. Bring these Curacier troops in. Fight the Warrior Society, hold them up. We're not interested in doing anything more with them. Excellent slash native prizeman unit is surrounded.
Colonial, our Marines are upset. The human engage the bowmen behind the lines. Shatter that bow unit. Engage that garrison bow unit. This is gonna. This might go awry. But you need to get over. You need to get out of this fight and get in here and kill some of these. Get over here. Excellent. Charge into the back of these guys. General out of here. Routing broken. Okay, kill the. Okay, good, 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 good. So you are doing a really good job, Probe Auxiliary, holding up three units of enemy units. Kill the chief's bodyguard. Howitzers engage the bowmen. This howitzer quick climb attack ground right here. My light cav are recovering. charge in to try pin them allow my cuirassier to get out on the flank and do some work get this light, light infantry oops, sorry get this light infantry to just run away keep all of you except the actually except except nothing actually no the general Run! There are madmen with axes chasing after you. Form your line. All of my cavalry pursue and destroy the madmen. My infantry recovered. going to continue just so we kill as many of them as possible. I mean there is a risk that we just introduce lots of... actually that's probably a good idea actually. Let's not kill them all. We may end up just replace... they may just replace um, depleted garrison units with fresh ones. Which we don't want. We want them to have... We want this unit of war society with 19 troops to take up an entire slot. We don't want to kill them all. If it's their last turn and the city is destroyed, that's then that's fine. But if there is an extra fight to be had, then we want to make sure that we do things smartly. Uh, you're offering 10 grand in peace? Nope. No peace for you, good sir. Oh, is it going to be... Are we going to chug on Russia? We'll find out soon enough. Yep, 
looks like they're going to choke. So I'll see you guys in this. Oh. Yeah, see, computer, you knew what I was going to do. Um, although it looks like they've... No. <laughs> the ups and downs of Empire Total War. Isn't it glorious? Cool. It looks like. Okay. Now it's going to chug. So, see you in a second. Oh, we're back almost immediately after I chop the recording. Obviously, that's what happens. You're doing some raiding, that's fine. Nope, not the, don't need the fortification yet. We are still highly driven by our need to generate more cash. You're full strength. You could take this city. Yeah, we will, we will do that. I'm just going to uh, make sure that I'm doing everything else is being done first. Workers on strike in Morocco. Nah, they've, they've cool. Cal calm down. Okay, so Humphrey Sloper. For battle. I mean, there's a lot of these that we're going to have. We're just going to have to go around and fight them all again. Attack. I mean, that's just that, that's going to be in. Well, no, it's not going to be an auto resolve because you're here. So we may actually just re-engage our troops in those theaters to make sure they do. To make sure that we actually get the outcome that we want. Yes. Except for you, you're going to demand the surrender. So f let's get yourself replenished, because they are still wandering around here. And let's try and assassinate Mumfrey Blakemore. Yeah. You and your ships go down here. Okay, let's upgrade. Oh no, no, don't upgrade Yorktown yet. Well, I think what I'm going to end the turn on is this. We've sent Maximilian Carroll and his damaged fleet up against Nathaniel Wallace and a whole bunch of friends. But looking at the timer, I'm definitely going to end the episode here. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the USA. Cheers, everyone.